get on the other side of the fence. What big happened? time, big time. I don't know, we started way, way up that way. Saw them up there, they came down, they hid from us right there. And then we came right up over here and glassed up all of them. Good old Jason over here spotted them, ran up and shot them. Now he's sitting right there, dead at the door now. We like him. Yup. Steaks on the grill tonight. Oh yeah. What do you think? Good stuff. 350 yards. First morning. All the way from Pennsylvania. Yep. Was on the plane yesterday. Today I'm on a rock in the middle of New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Killing some sheep. All right, brother, congrats. Oh uh, yeah. That was awesome, man. Yeah, man. Freaking awesome. This guy. Look out for the cactus here, people. If you don't want to touch that one, it might sting it a little bit. Check them out. Big old Barbary sheet here, New Mexico. Shot them. Well, here we are in southern New Mexico hunting Barbary sheep on the public land. Uh, my nephew Mike Marmelli flew in from Pennsylvania yesterday and we decided to come out here and hunt some sheep. He drew, was lucky enough to draw a tag and uh, here we are. What do you think of this Mike? This is uh, unbelievable. Uh, I couldn't ask for anything better than this. I'll tell you what, first day hunting ended up with something like this couldn't get any better. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah, we got lucky first morning. We're yeah. uh, on a five day hunt, I still have a tag and Jason's out hunting right now, so uh, we'll be back with more action, hopefully on this same hunt, but uh, tell us a little bit about the hunt. When we spotted this sheep, they were about 900 yards up this way. What happened? Yeah, man, we were uh, we were coming over the hill and uh, came up, looked up glass up to the right here, saw him about probably eight, 900 yards up, walking towards our way. Next thing you know, they, they go right under this little bend here, so we kind of snuck back around them. And we came back up top of the ridge, they just disappeared on us, you know. We thought they uh, kind of just slipped away, uh, but uh, you know, just kind of stuck with it and saw them bedded down about 300 yards away and uh, just started shooting at them. Yeah, it's uh, typical with these Barbary sheep. They always try and put the slip on you and they do a good job. We uh... We thought these sheep were gone and we decided to make one more circle 
came back and lo and behold there they were Mike put a great shot on this Barbary sheep uh, about 370 yards um, so great hunt Mike what do you think of the terrain out here have you ever been in anything like this no way there's uh, there's definitely nothing like this back in Philly that's for sure it's all rolly hills back there this is just straight rocks and cacti and prickers all over the place yeah definitely not uh, hunting whitetails out of a tree stand here folks this is uh, public land Barbary sheep hunting stay tuned we'll be right back Here we are folks, in New Mexico we've got two rams, 600 yards. If they don't know we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot. Got him. I'll tell you what, talk about long range shooting, man. This is great stuff, 600 yards. I just smoked that ram one shot. Awesome. Welcome back. I'll tell you what, I thought we might have some more action on this hunt. You saw the video from yesterday, Mike shot that ram. Beautiful ram. Uh, we're out here day two of this hunt. Uh, probably about twice as far from uh, camp as we were yesterday. Right behind me you can see on the screen is that uh, ravine where I shot that ram. 600 yard shot, one shot, he's laying dead right up top there. Tell you what, it just doesn't get any better than this here in southern New Mexico hunting Barbary sheep. Again, this is public land hunting. No, uh, no ranches here, no feeders. This is tough stuff. We've uh, been at it all day. It's about 2 o'clock. Um, stay tuned, we'll be back for recovery on that ram. Welcome back folks, here we are day three of the Barbary sheep hunt here in southern New Mexico. Uh, this is the bottom of the canyon where I shot that Barbary sheep from yesterday. We've been at it two and a half hours this morning just to get to the bottom. Um, it's quite a canyon, I'll tell you what, it, uh, it's not, not for everybody this hunt, but we're going to stick it out. We've got about an hour and a half left to get to the ram, and probably two or three hours after that. Uh, packing just back down here to the bottom so it's gonna be a long day stay tuned we'll be right back with a recovery on that ramp folks I'll tell you what we made it across the canyon now and spotted the Barbie sheep he's right down here let's go check him out wow he's a good one I'll tell you what this uh, took us four hours to get over here to him and uh, it's all worth it wait till you see this guy tell you what folks you just saw the ridge the opposite direction of where we shot from yesterday that's 600 yards straight across um, perfect shot right through the heart I've been practicing long-range shooting and uh, it pays off if you have the right equipment and you're comfortable and confident with the shot 
Uh, it sure is a great way to go. This uh, Barbie sheep here, God, I couldn't ask for anything more. What an exciting hunt. We've been at it uh, for several days now. We took one Barbie sheep, my nephew Mike, uh, two days ago. Took this one yesterday afternoon and uh, we knew we couldn't get to him before dark, so we've been at it here about five hours this morning. Finally reached him. Now the work begins. I'll tell you what, it uh, doesn't get much better than this, hunting Barbary sheep in southern New Mexico. Stay tuned, we'll be right back hopefully with some more action. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ramos Hunts and Videos, hunting Barbary sheep in southern New Mexico, public land draw hunt. We've had an exciting time here this hunt. My nephew Mike flew in from Pennsylvania, killed a ram two days ago. Uh, I got this ram yesterday and we're fixing to pack out. It, uh, one of the toughest hunts we have here in New Mexico. If you ever get a chance to, to put in for a tag, try it. It's uh, definitely a challenging hunt. The terrain's tough. We've got uh, about a four and a half mile pack out with this ram. We've got him caped and boned. So we're gonna get going. Thanks again for watching. We'll be right back.